Welcome to this TechAbility webinar for InVision Part 2. Please press subscribe underneath the video if you want more of this content. And if it was useful, please hit the like and leave us any feedback or questions in the comments. So the InVision app is, again, like I mentioned, available on iOS and on Android. And the app itself functions similarly to the glasses um, with a few other features that the app has, but the glasses don't and vice versa. So if anybody is interested in trying the trying and beginning with the app, we do have a two week free trial that you can, uh, you can use completely free um, and explore the features themselves. But similarly to the glasses and what I showed you, the app itself has um, the reading category to begin with. And within the reading category, you have both instant and scan text. And the instant text and scan text again function in the same logic of the glasses that I described earlier. However, this, the reading section in the Envision app also has the Envision library, which is where those documents that you would have exported from the Envision glasses would be found. So you can do the same thing on your Envision app as well, which is that you can scan a document and you can export it. And all of those exported documents will then be found within the library of uh, the read section. Afterwards on the Envision app, you also have the described functionality that I showed you, the described scene functionality. It can also again be used to detect colors um, like before. And you can also scan barcodes, which is actually something that the glasses can't do right now. So if you do find yourself needing to access barcodes at the grocery store uh, or pretty much any anything that has a, a barcode on it, the Envision app will allow you to do that. Um, again, the Envision app also has the find functionality. So you can do the same thing in terms of finding people and finding objects and teaching faces as well on the Envision app. Finally, we have a dedicated section for the glasses themselves. Um, so the Envision glasses are at the very beginning paired with your Envision app. And that is so that we understand that this is the same account so that when you export documents or you teach faces, it knows which account to uh, send and save those details to. So within the glasses tab on the Envision app, you can see everything from which Wi-Fi or which connection uh, you're using currently, what your battery level is, um, and all the things like adding your allies, teaching faces, and finally um, being able to uh, select your favorite features. Finally, you have the settings within um, the Envision app as well, which kind of allows you to tweak the Envision app to your preferences. So everything from changing languages um, to uh, like finding tutorials, everything is there under the settings. Um, and in both of these scenarios, we will be very happy to share all of those supporting manuals and such with you guys. So you guys have access to those documents as well. Um, the only thing that the Envision glasses and the app uh, in the, rather the, the only thing that the Envision app is really missing is that ally functionality, because um, we really see the benefit of the ally functionality on the glasses because it uh, helps you stay hands-free. Um, and that allows you to kind of get the assistance or talk to your sighted colleagues while having your hands free to either, let's say, use your cane or to grab something. Whereas on your phone, that would take another hand. And in that scenario, you could also, of course, use something like a WhatsApp call. But yeah, Neil, I hope that's a pretty concise way for me to give you a little bit of information about uh, the Envision app as well. Um, and because I, I spent a lot of time uh, with the features on the Envision glasses, it's kind of easy to understand how uh, those functionality, how that functionality works on the app as well. Great, thanks. Um, just a question. <clears throat> one of the um, one of the 
kind of focuses has been around visual impairments. Um, is the app also useful for those with um, learning disabilities as well? Um, of course, our primary focus when it comes to how we design the interface has been towards people with visual impairments. However, we do have users um, with uh, dyslexia that use the Envision glasses that have actually messaged us recently, um, kind of thanking us for that functionality um, as well. Um, it is very useful, right? Because it allows you to read pretty much anything. So it is uh, something that we found users uh, to, to be using it for that exact reason, even though that's not how we position the glasses. So in that scenario, it is possible, Neil. Yeah, great. Thank you. I think I had one other thing that I wanted to just bring up as well is obviously um, the uh, opportunity with the Envision glasses and the app within institutions. So for educational institutions, for offering these to um, students with visual impairments and, and making that available within the organization. So we are, and Bagheer is driving that working with you know, um, the enterprise side of the business. So, you know, if that's something that anyone uh, is interested in, you know, we're really, really interested in talking about that. And that can be everything from having like customized apps through to, you know, actually certain functionality within the glasses um, uh, as well. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to bring up as well is that we are, we're a software company basically. So we are looking wherever we can to port the Envision uh, glasses software onto other um, smart glasses that they become available. And people ask me this, is it, are you sort of tied to Google? Uh, no, <laughs> but they are the best platform and that's the opportunity for us at the moment. But as other frames, other platforms come available, other options, we're going to take that over the, these platforms. And then in the same case as a software company, we're integrating with other software, other apps, so you might have heard of Ira. Ira is a really popular service where you, it's actually a very, uh, it's the most personal service you can have through your smartphone for someone who's blind or visually impaired, where a vir you know, a, an Ira uh, agent will literally talk you through whatever you need help with. Now we're in active discussions with them of porting Ira onto the Envision glasses and, you know, other maybe more navigational driven uh, software, as you can imagine, there's plenty of really, cool apps out there, but they're all in an app format on your smartphone. To actually take them onto the glasses is a whole new uh, compelling uh, proposition. And I think that's really uh, exciting news. Um, and we're always developing the product. So that's the, the lovely thing about it. It's like in, you, you buy, it's a bit like your phone, right? So you, you get the device and there's always a new updates coming. Uh, mostly not too irritating ones, but we we, uh, we just added some really cool functionality, making it a lot easier to read things like newspapers and and um, things with columns. You wouldn't believe how hard it is for, you know, OCR to read columns and headings and that kind of stuff. Well, that is really important because we have a lot of users who love reading newspapers and magazines, and for them, this is a huge step forward. But uh, yeah. I don't want to go on a big marketing pitch here, but there is some really nice stuff in the pipeline as well. So exactly. we'll have to keep you posted on that. Yeah. And thanks, Vanessa. I was actually just <laughs> going to plug plug the um, Envision for Enterprise stuff right at the end as well. I um, couldn't wait. And... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just so that you, uh, just for, uh, for a bit more information, we're already working uh, with a few universities uh, in the US as well. Um, so if you'd like to explore that option, um, we'll send across, we'll include that in the presentation as well, where um, we'll include the form. It's right now we are offering a free pilot uh, for universities themselves to explore that. So if you are a member of faculty or a member of uh, the student body itself, you can fill out that form and send the request to us uh, so that then we can reach out to um, uh, your university directly and tell them that we have this request and we'd love to kind of provide um, um, a way to uh, include them within that pilot program as well. Okay, great, thanks. So um, I think we'll... Oh, good. That's good. Uh, yeah, Jerry said it's been a fascinating session. That's really good. Um, yeah, let, let us know how you get on, Jerry. If you um, if you want to get in touch and things like that, then uh, yeah, feel free. Um, I think the uh, yeah, maybe um, would one of you like to put your email as well in the chat? That might be a 
English. Yes, a good way just to, if you want to get in touch straight away. Um, but yeah, thank you. That, that was really interesting. And uh, I know there's lots of people that will be watching this on the recording as well. Um, so we'll make sure that we put the contact details in there and uh, yeah, share it around the different colleges. Um, thanks both for your time. Um, thank you everyone for, for attending and um, sorry we overran a little bit, but uh, we um, yeah, we will split them onto the, on YouTube. So they're, they're, um, they're a bit shorter. Um, and I'll just share our final slide. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else you want us to cover, then email us at techability at natspec.org.uk at tech underscore ability one for Twitter. Um, and you can watch all our uh, webinars as well with um, bit.ly watch techability webinars. And uh, we'll send the slides out um, to all of you in the recording as well. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bagia. Thank you, Vanessa. And yeah. I'll leave the chat open for a bit just in case anyone's got any last minute questions or comments. Um, but otherwise, thank you everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you for having us. Bye-bye. Thanks for having us.